And that's what it's like riding with my husband. So I'm starting to think that you and I have a different definition of rocket. Well, maybe we're not even using the same words. I mean, are you talking rocket, like let's blast off? Are you talking like rocket, let's move forward gently? But really, we should get into talking about group riding, friends riding, group dynamics, and and what's safe and, and how to do it. What do you think? Let's do that. So the first thing and the most important is ride to your own ability. Don't try riding to what somebody else is doing and uh, trying to keep up with other people. Always be safe and ride to your own ability. Okay, I completely agree with that, right? You know, because we all have different skill levels, right? Correct. You've been on two wheels on this planet way longer than I have, right? You know, yeah. I'm Are a, you saying I'm old? I'm, I'm not saying. No, this I is, am old. That's okay. You this is middle age road rage. <laughs> okay, fine. Right? I'll take right? it. But no, I agree with you. It, it drives me nuts when I see someone who maybe hasn't had their, you know, you know, riding together for very long and they're trying to run around like, you know, they're a professional. Yeah. But what is important and what I feel when riding in a group of bikes is... I like to ride staggered. I like to leave about, you know, two to three, four bike lengths in between the bikes. That gives you enough braking distance and such. Uh, there's the flip side to that. What drives me insane is when you're riding in a group and there's a quarter mile space between motorcycles. Uh, it just feels like you're riding alone. It's hard to make stop signs and stop lights in a group of bikes in that manner. So uh, there's a few things that grind my gears. Yeah. Staggered is good. What drives me nuts is when I see like maybe 10, 12 people, single line, single file going down the highway. And we even had a recent group ride with a bunch of folks that we didn't know where it seemed like people were taking, it was a large group, right? Yeah. A large, large group. And everyone was taking up every single lane on the freeway like a rolling roadblock. I just found it to be ridiculous. So today was a gorgeous day outside, beautiful temperature, sun shining, so we thought it was a perfect day to run errands. And when we ride together, right, sometimes we ride with me on the back, etc. but I wanted to get out there myself on my little street bob, I mean, perfect day. And Way uh, too nice to be driving around. It was way too nice to be driving around, but still, with both of our bikes, we're still cheaper than the car. <laughs> That's for sure. Someone walking down here. wanted to ask you guys out there what type of experiences have you had riding like you know as a couple with friends in in a group situation that has been wonderful but on the flip side sometimes the more sometimes the more interesting ones <laughs> are the or the nightmare rides, you know. Exactly. Share in the comments some of the crazy ridiculous boneheaded stuff that you've experienced on a group ride. Yeah, leave a comment. We're really curious now. 
So if you've watched us before, you probably have noticed that most of our videos are us riding two up on a Honda Goldwing. That's for sure. Yeah, that's most of our videos, right? I would agree with that. Right, but it was, I mean, you guys can see it was such a beautiful day. I had to get out there on my own bike and take a ride. Now, so Mike's up front there on a 2002 Road King. Yep, and my lovely wife is on a 2016 Diana Street Bob. Oh, yeah. I, no, you know what? By all rights, I should be up front because that is a lighter bike and it's a faster bike than the Road King. It's got a Screaming Eagle conversion on it. It's a rocket. Yeah, it, it is. But I don't mind following you. I like chasing my husband. Mm -hmm. I'm also curious if there are any other riding couples out there that, you know, um, not only ride two up, but do you guys ride together? Do you have your own bikes? If so, what do you have? What do you ride? Leave it in the comments. We'd love to check it out. It's hippier. See you guys, there he goes again. He's always zipping out there in front of me. But yeah, I do catch up, well, once in a while, right? So you know what I've really noticed by watching this video? What's that? We all go the same speed limit and stuff like that. I just think that when the light turns green, you kind of sit around and stare at the sky and the trees and everything around you. Well, I try to get a jump on all of the traffic so as not to be in a big pack of cars where that's really not a priority for you. So I'm Sunday driving Monday through Saturday. <laughs> Monday through Sunday. <laughs> Monday through Sunday, I'm Sunday driving. Well, you know what, we live in a beautiful area. I mean, even, you know, in town here, it's, you know, kind of suburban, it's pretty chill. But I mean, literally within moments from our front door, we are out in the farmlands. We are out at ranches. Canyons. We, we, canyons. You know, there's like, you know, fruit orchards everywhere. There's farms. Yeah, it's, we're pretty blessed. We're pretty blessed, you know. So whether we're on the streets or we're on the country roads, I, I do like to enjoy myself. There's a lot yeah. of scenery to be had. There is a lot of scenery to be had. But anyway, um, I guess it's time to head back. There's no place like home. <laughs> we're almost home. <laughs> almost home. No place like home. Anyway, again, you guys, thanks for riding along with us. And like I said before, leave a comment. Let us know about the boneheaded stuff you've seen in group rides. Let us know about, you know, um, how it is riding with your partner, whether alone or two up. We're really excited to talk with you. All right. Check you out soon. See you guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks, Mike. I love a good compliment. 26 minutes and 4 seconds to come back. Yeah. Hey, Bun. Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? I always enjoy riding with you, Bunny. Aw, thank you, sweetie.